what am I in the twilight zone? Am I, you know, failing at this again already? The Hello, and welcome to From Fluffy to Foxy. Thanks for clicking on today's video. We are at the end of week four, and it has been one roller coaster of a ride this week. First, I'd like to apologize for not having a midweek weigh in. I do have the data for Wednesday's weigh in. I just was very ill during the week, which is part of what happened for the roller coaster ride that was this week. And I was not able to actually do a video. However, the data is here. So I'll be covering it in this video. So you get a two for one video this week. And we'll be do going back to the regular two week format starting next week. And I'm going to get into that data right now because I'm not even going to wait. It was a really bad week this week and you're going to see that now. So basically what happened was I ended up being up this week. So I am at 260.6 from the 258.8 pounds that I was at um, at this time last week. So I've gained almost two pounds, 1.8 pounds this week. And I was actually really upset with this because I thought, what am I in the twilight zone? Am I, you know, failing at this again already? The doubts started creeping in and I was not happy with the fact that I was up this early in the journey. This part of the journey should be easy. This is when the motivation is high. This is when everything should be the easiest part of the journey. And I should be losing at least 10 pounds or so before I start seeing any fluctuations with my uh, weight going up and down uh, as a regular weight loss journey. And part of the reason I was up was I was ill. Um, I did start my regular back to exercise this week. I did my martial arts class for the first time in almost a year. I was back to weightlifting. Um, I did my first session on Wednesday. My first martial arts was on Tuesday. And let me tell you, I was very sore on both of those next days. Going into Wednesday for my weightlifting, I was carrying some soreness uh, from my martial arts class. And um, I definitely carried some soreness into Thursday, which probably didn't help um, my medical condition. It probably flared up a bit because of that. And I'll have to monitor that going forward. But in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't a lot of exercise, so it shouldn't have impacted it that much. So I was a bit concerned that it did flare up um, as much as it did. So I had to do some thinking about what was different this week than previous weeks. And something happened this week that wasn't in any of the previous weeks. Anyone who knows me knows that I am a big fan of a specific type of donut. It is called a walnut crunch donut. And I loved them as a kid. They were my favorite donut. In fact, they took them away when I was in my early 20s and they never brought them back to the point where when my mom found them at a local bakery shop in my hometown, she actually brought them up instead of a birthday cake for my birthday because she knew how much I loved them when she found them there. And because of this, I will always buy them when I see them. And my favorite or my local coffee shop that I go to all the time brought back the Walnut Crunch Donut for a limited time this week. So, of course, as soon as I saw it, I started ordering them to enjoy because they're for a limited time and they're my favorite donut. So every day this week, I have had a Walnut Crunch Donut. And that definitely is not on plan. So... That is definitely something that has impacted me this week because it's not something that I was accounting for. And I need to be making sure that I stay on point. And I just went a little crazy with the Walnut Crunch Donuts this week. And I have not been tracking my calories. Normally when I start a new diet, I will track my calories in a calorie tracker like my fitness pal. It is something I do not like doing at all. I hate tracking my calories. I find it tedious. I do not like doing it. However, it allows me to see exactly where I'm standing and stays on track. I have not been doing it and clearly it is something I'm going to have to continue doing and normally I only do it for about three or four weeks until I can start eyeballing portions, get in the habit of, you know, eating clean 
and staying on my calorie um, requirements for whatever I happen to be eating for my lifestyle. And even though I hate doing it, it's just one more thing I have to do. I'm probably going to have to start doing that again, simply because if I don't do it, this is the results I'm going to have. Basically, there's a phrase I like using, what gets tracked gets measured. And this is the sort of thing that's going to have to get tracked so it can continue to get measured in the form of weight loss. So this is where we're going to be at going forward. And let me know in the comments if you want to see the tracker to see what I happen to be eating in a day. Um, or if you are going to be using a tracker or not yourself during your weight loss. If you feel the same way, if you hate using them but use them for the beginning, or if you're one of those people who really, really likes using them or despises them and just chooses to stay away from them. Let me know. The other thing I'm going to keep in mind is when you exercise, exercise causes inflammation. That's what allows you to burn uh, calories. That's what allows your muscles to grow. And I have a very heavy front end when it comes to my workouts. So I've got martial arts in the beginning of the week. I've got my weight lifting. And by the time Wednesday comes around, I'm going to be having a lot of inflammation on my body. I'm wondering if that's going to be impacting the scale at all in the middle of the week and how that is going to impact the end of my week weigh-ins. So we're going to have to wait and see when we pull the data for the next couple of weeks if my midweek weigh-ins are higher, but then the end of the week weigh-ins are lower. That'll be an interesting thing to see. I'm always here to motivate you. So if seeing my fluffy butt get thrown around in a martial arts class, or if lifting weights helps you get motivated to lift weights yourself, then by all means, I'll certainly make those videos even though I'm not exactly comfortable with my own uh, larger self being on video in those situations, but I'll do it for you guys if that's something that you want to see. So I will be laying off the Walnut Crunch Donuts going forward. I'll be going back to meal prepping and subscribe below so that you can come back on Wednesday where you will see that I will be below 260 and uh, we will continue the weight loss journey and have some positive reinforcements of the healthy habits that we're going to be continuing this week. So until next time, stay amazing.